Hello everyone, today we'll discuss some of the most common viva questions asked related to radiography in the examinations. So first of all, they can ask you what are x-rays. So I'm giving some points here which you can tell them. X-rays are electromagnetic rays. They have high energy. They can penetrate the body or other objects. So we can ask you the difference between x-rays and gamma rays. If they ask you the difference between x-rays and gamma rays, there is no clear difference. The main difference between x-ray and gamma ray is the source. Gamma rays are basically produced by radioactive elements and x-rays are produced in the x-ray tube when electrons strike the anode. Okay, then they can ask the appearance of x-ray images or the appearance of different organs on the x-ray images. You'll tell them high density objects are radio opaque. Being radio opaque means that being radio opaque means that x-rays cannot penetrate them. So these objects will appear hyper dense. This hyper dense basically means bright. So examples of the hyper dense objects can include bone, most important of all, calcifications, and tooth or metallic implants or you can say metallic implants tooth and of course contrast media then the low density objects or low atomic number objects so these uh, low density objects will appear hypo dense or they are known as radiolucent these radiolucent objects can appear in different shades of gray In radiology, we have 256 shades of gray starting from black and ending up into white. So these radiolucent objects can be air, which appears black. Or we should say it appears hypodense. Then comes uh, soft tissue. Then comes fat. CSF, the cerebrospinal fluid, and uh, inflammation. Air appears totally black. CSF or inflammation will appear light gray. Soft tissues will also appear light gray but a bit darker than this CSF and the inflammatory fluid or any other fluid. And fat will appear as dark gray. Examiner can also ask how x-rays are produced and I've uh, told the whole phenomena of the production of x-rays in my previous video. You can check in there. 
then the next question can be why tungsten is used I've also told the reason of this question in the previous video you can check into that other uh, question from the examiner can be the types of x-rays there are two types of x-rays characteristic and Bremstrahlung. Characteristic x-rays have a specific energy and these Bremstrahlung x-rays basically have a range of energies. In my next video, I'll explain how the characteristic and Bremstrahlung x-rays are produced. Another question by the examiner can be um, why they use lead across the x-ray tube they use lead around the x-ray tube to avoid any kind of radiation leakage and other questions uh, can be like related to images how will calcification appear how will the bone appear so the bony density can be different in case of osteoporosis it gives a tunnel like appearance and so i think that's it related to basic radiography they can also ask about the views if you're uh, giving the technology medical technology exam i'll make a new video on the views of radiographs thank you i hope you understand the basics of viva question i hope you like the video please subscribe